everyone and welcome back to Rust Boxes and Profits. So today you join me on an absolute scorcher in the UK. It's over 25 degrees. What do you want to do on a hot day? Apart from have a beer would be have a barbecue. I don't have a barbecue but I do have a car so I'm going to be trying to cook a basic barbecue i.e. burgers uh, in the engine bay. I've already pre preheated the car um, so and the hot day should be enough to cook it. Just gonna run about 20 miles um, up the local A road uh, and back again and hopefully that will be enough to cook the barbecue. So join me today and uh, let's see whether I can actually manage it or whether it just tastes absolutely disgusting. Cool, stay tuned to see. Okay, so here is the engine of the ship box. Um, so obviously this is the exhaust manifold so I'm probably going to try and secure it here somewhere um, and I'll come back when I've managed to get busy with the foil see you shortly there's the hot plate yeah I know it looks a bit crap uh, I'm just trying to get it away from anything that is gonna spin basically so the fan here hopefully that will secure it like so not going to do any timed runs, so let's stick the burgers in and then uh, wrap them up and secure them. Okay, I'm going to individually wrap them, I think, for sanitary reasons. And then uh, I'll come back when they're both done. Okay, so they're in. They do look relatively secure, to be honest, so I'm just going to wing it and leave them in there and hopefully we don't get burgers down the A-road. Um, right, let's start for the drive. Okay, so I've been driving for about 10 or 15 minutes down uh, the A47. I'm just gonna go and see what the progress is. So let's come with me. I mean, I don't smell any burgers. So here it is and doesn't really feel hot enough if I'm honest so I'm gonna have to modify my design a little bit let's take away that what about if we just get rid of all the foil yes put it straight on there and then Okay, so I've modified it slightly, then I'll straight on the exhaust manifold. Hopefully they will stay and not end up on a 47. Let's continue the journey. Okay, so as you can see, we're at the Maccas, but we don't need no Maccas because we're cooking our own. Okay, so another 10, 12 minutes down the road. Let's check on them burgers. Okay, so here they are. I can smell burgery smell to be fair. Um, so it's looking pretty optimistic. What I'll do now is flip them over. Okie dokie, another 10, 12 minutes down the road. Let's check the burgers. I have to say, I can start to smell them. Definitely, definitely cooking. Ooh, sizzle, sizzle. Let's have a little butchers at one. Not very easy to open, one-handed. I'll tell you that much. Nearly, I reckon, probably another 10, 20 minutes and we'll be there. All 
Okay, so the moment of truth. <clears throat> what do they look like? Let's see. Definitely smell burgers. Where's the flap? There it is. God, the smell is delicious. Oh, a bit of juice. Let's see. Um, well, I suppose they're cooked. They just haven't, um, just not very char grilled. really look any better if I'm honest uh, okay I'll go and get the buns and let's try them okay so I've kept it outside just gonna put that there for a minute and then try and make it taste something like a burger I would imagine and then now for the taste here we go I mean, I've had worse. Hmm, not bad. Should you just buy a barbecue and do it at home though? Probably. But I've probably spent 10 quid on fuel, so this is not really that cost effective, but has made a video. Mm, crispy bit. Well, there we go, we've come to the end of the video. Hope you have enjoyed watching it. It's been quite good making it, I'll be honest, and uh, pretty good finished product. So if you've got a uh, Vauxhall Astra and you don't want to buy a barbecue, just stick the burgers on the exhaust manifold. Jobs are good in. If you like the video, give it a like. If you haven't, then I guess don't watch it again. And uh, consider subscribing for more content like this. Cheers, boy!